Guys, welcome back to another ESL podcast, man. I am your host, Arsenio, as usual. And today we're going over a developing vocabulary segment. Guys, we're going to be talking about collocations. I know a lot of you have missed these specific podcasts, especially, you know, phrasal verbs and expressions and whatnot. So what I have here today is collocations of communication, right? And there are eight sentences located, of course, on my blog. You guys could check that out. It goes under the same name as this podcast. And you'll be able to put some of the collocations one through eight in with the sentences just down below that. But what I want to do is just give a nice free speaking type of, you know, or deal what we're going to be speaking about today. Um, and, you know, also giving you some phrases that collocate with some of the verbs down below. So what we hear, what we have here is with communication, we have say, speak, and tell. So with these three different categories, we have different collocations that go along with them, right? So with the ones above that you're going to see on the blog, you have in regular, speak with one, a breakdown of, face-to-face, at the top of your, raise, lower your, a means of, a tone of. So with these, you'll be able to put them in the sentences down below. But I want to give you guys a nice little story behind at the top of your. So this is very interesting because, again, uh, a motivational speaker who I love so dearly by the name of Eric Thomas, he said that he, at the very beginning stages of him giving presentations at corporate, there was a guy that pulled him aside and said, excuse me, uh, Eric, I just uh, I have uh, something I really need to tell you. It's urgent. He said, okay, what's on your mind? He said, okay, so we have these people taking you know, time out of their day to you know, get on this call with you. And he said, oh, wow, okay, yeah, I understand that. And the guy went on to say, he said, we, he, we need you at the top of your game. And at the top of your game, that means we need you at your best. And Eric Thomas went on to say, well, wait, wait, what? And he said, okay, hold on. Man, you must come from a privileged background. There is no B game, no C game, no D game. I am at the top of my game no matter what. I have an A game and there's nothing less of that. See, guys, that's what it comes to life. That's what it comes to doing what you love to do, not what you have to do. Because, again, you will probably give your C, D, and F game no matter what. But there's only one option. You have to give your best. At any go, it is you must give your best. And I really thought that was very interesting, you know, how he approached that situation or that conversation with this guy who was in corporate. So again, at the top of your game, meaning you need to be at your best. Now, going into the categories, what you have, you have say, speak, and tell. And the verbs in the box, you have be about to, hate to, hear someone, not be on terms, or I'm sorry, not be on space terms, uh, not trust yourself to out against someone what you think, the difference, the truth, you so, your mind, or a lot of different collocations that you have to put in with the categories, say, speak, and tell. So one would be have nothing to say meaning you are done speaking. I have nothing else to say. Normally we put else in there too. I don't say have nothing to you. Do you have anything to say? I mean, again, when I'm asking a question, but when I reply, I would say I have nothing else to say. So let's look at uh, be about to, okay? Be about to tell, be about to say, be about to speak, right? Uh, You're gonna have to figure out, does it go before or does it go after? Or say, uh, ooh, you know what? You're probably going to have to add, there could be more than one answer too, but your mind was the last one I gave you in that little box, right? So we normally say, speak your mind or what's on your mind, but speak your mind, meaning whatever's bothering you, tell me what's bothering you. So when we tell someone to speak their mind, it's very, very important to know and tell that other person, hey, just tell me what's on your mind, right? Because 
that means you're giving them the ability to express themselves. And that is very, very important in the world of speaking. Or, you know, if I go on to another one, uh, you so, speak you so, say you so, tell you so. Ah, I love this. I love this one. So again, with the categories, I'm just saying it out loud to figure out which one is the answer. So tell you so or told you so. This is what we normally say in a reported way. So if something happens and you had already predicted that it would happen and you told the person before it happened that it would happen and the person didn't believe you until it actually happened and they're angry, you would say, I told you so, right? That's what we were saying when we were childs back in the 90s. I don't think people say that anymore. But again, I told you so, that means, hey, I told you before it happened that it would happen, but you didn't believe me. And so did it happen? Now I'm repeating and making you even more agitated by telling you, yes, I told you so. Does that make sense, people? So what we have, again, a lot of collocations, a lot of things I can continue giving you stories about and whatnot, but I would love for you to put these in the categories. Again, there is the Microsoft Word doc, and it's on, of course, my blog, if you guys want to check that out and add these in. If you guys have any questions and whatnot, let me know what you think. And again, tune into my Instagram stories because these might pop up on there also. So with that being said, guys, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual, over and out.